Right now, I'm in between jobs, but we will be working on a four-story brownstone in East New York. And a uh, really nice couple. Fred? Hey, how are you? I'm good. How good. are you doing? Good, doing good. How, do, you, do you live around here? Uh, no. Yeah. <laughs> Just walking by? <laughs> I, I guess so. <laughs> How's everything going? It's good to see you. Good to see you, too. Hi. I haven't uh, talked to you since you've been working with, um, uh, with Daniel? De no, um, Lance. No, you, no. Devin. Seriously, you've been what you've been doing the guy. Frank. The, the, no. Uh, what name are you looking who's for? Who's the, the the starts with an S? Doctor Seth. 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 Oh yeah, yeah. You didn't know who I was talking about? <laughs> no, I had no idea. You <laughs> just <laughs> you just I, it was too broad. You were just okay. going. You know, it was just I, I didn't know where you were going How with you the name. Nice to no, meet you. Hi, this is Gio. Nice to meet you. Gio, nice to meet Gio, you. Gio, and this is uh, Fred Armisen. Yeah. How you doing, Fred? Uh, do you watch? Portlandia? Sure. Yeah. Great show. Yeah. Thank you very much. Guess who yeah. else is on Portlandia? Yeah. Did you, <laughs> see, right. did you see the celery incident? No, I did not. Okay. Well, it's a good one. Hi, pigeons. Uh, but yeah. So now you moved, didn't you? Did you move to? Yeah, I moved to LA. You moved to LA. I'm from here. You're from here. You lived here for a long time. Years. But why did you want to move to LA? I just felt like I was here for 11 years. Right. For SNL. And I think I wanted, like, to start a new, <laughs> I've never used the word a new before, <laughs> but also, I like the idea of having a house. And... Yeah, it's kind of a healthy thing yeah, to was, do. Let me start there. I can't imagine working on something for that long. Yeah. Because we're going to be ending Boardwalk as our fifth and last season. Mm -hmm. But ele you did 11, Ele imagine 11 years. Imagine wow. yeah. You guys don't do any improvised Re no. <laughs> seasons, do you? <laughs> You know, Scorsese used to let us improvise. Marty, Marty would tell us, uh, <laughs> <laughs> he would let us improvise in like group scenes. Mm -hmm. You know, like if we were having like a dinner scene, like with a bunch of gangsters, he would just be, you know, saying, all right, just tell him a joke, you know, and then you yeah. have to like think of a joke. Or, you know, <laughs> or, or yeah. here's what he would do too. And this isn't really improvising, but let's say the camera's on you. Yeah. I know you know the scene, but I'm going to throw something different at you. Right, right. Get a, get a real yeah, reaction. Yeah, 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 yeah. And most yeah. of the time, it's just, what are you doing? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you just Why is this happening? People just look at you like, that's yeah. not the line. Yeah. So now, so I don't do that anymore. I just, yeah. I just stick to the lines no matter that's what. That's a weird thing, isn't it? Like, you think that's the right thing to do, and then it's like, just give I'm not me gonna, the line. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to do anything different. I'm not going to be like, <laughs> I've heard this line already. <laughs> <laughs> Why are we filming this? <laughs> like, yeah, I understand that. It's because he really doesn't know what he He's doing, really. Tell me about it. Yeah, he's got no visual sense. No, it's all. No. I want to jump into those movies and go like, out, wide shot, wide shot, <laughs> wide shot. Get out of there. Right. Yeah. All movies should be wide shots. Yeah. No one needs a close up. That guy. I don't know how he gets a movie made. <laughs> Look, Taxi Driver? Oh, how was that? That was come a on. mess. All of them. Raging Bull? After Hours? Oh. Why? I walked out of After Hours, then walked down the street and then walked back in so I could walk out again. <laughs> Really? Yeah. It's a shame, right? I think it's a crime. You know, he's a nice guy. He's a really nice guy. You know? You know? Love him, but... Very, very sweet. He should do something else. That's he just all. doesn't know anything about film. Please don't see any of his movies. Okay. About, that's the other thing. Are you still playing drums? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Are you? Yeah. yeah. I play drums once in a while. Yeah. But you want to see me play? Yeah. Sure. OK. That was great. Thank you. I really heard that. Yeah. <laughs> Ended on the side there. there. <laughs> yeah. Do you play drums? No. Come on, let me see you play. Come on, let's let's imagine. Oh, it's very dignified. <laughs> this is a very oh. dignified. Uh, he's got the oh, he's got the little kickstrom there. All right, that was good. I liked your. It was almost a classical drummer. There's nothing in here. There's nothing it's a prop. in here. What? It's like prop. <laughs> You don't need a prop. <laughs> By the way, I have seen you since the very, very beginning. I remember seeing 
Parting Glances. I don't know right, if that's your yeah. first film. Uh, well, yes. Yeah, and then, uh, was it New York Stories where you're doing the performance artist? Yes, Scorsese. It was great. It was yeah. great. How about Airheads? <laughs> yeah, that was great. <laughs> Thank you, Jerry. I All like right. Airheads, yeah. Oh, you got to be proud of that. Yeah, I am. I am. You have to be proud so of that. you got to tell I me, how'd you guys meet? How did we meet? Wow. Oh, that's well. That's a good question, because he used to be in the band, um, Trench Mouth. Uh -huh. right. Were you in a band? I was, well, I was in a band called Ponds of Love, but I don't know if I don't you, think we ever. So it wasn't. We didn't. Our musical worlds didn't. Uh, was it the art scene? Was did we do a play together? And aha, um, uh -huh. that I think it was that first play that we. Uh, what was the name of that play? It was. Uh, was it a hunting? The hunting lodge was it? Yes, it was the hunting lodge. It was the hunting oh. lodge. We did a. Oh my God! Wow. We did a play that called is... the Hunting Lodge. It was written by that guy. That, um, was it Sven or uh, Lars? Or? Sven Lars. S Sven, Sven Lars. Um, and then... It's a weird play. Could you understand what that play was about? Never. I didn't either. Never. It was a very long play, and we rehearsed for a long time. Eight months or something but of rehearsals. he kept changing the script. Yes. Remember he kept... Do you remember, do you remember the, the one guy who, who invested in the play? Yeah. And then and they and then they wrote him. They, yeah, they, they, they wanted to be in it. Character. It's supposed yeah. to be a two-character play. Yeah. And then we yes. had to replace him with that... Um, yes. Oh, the guy from right. Sri Lanka? I think he invested too? From no, I think was he, he's Norwegian. Mm, I don't think so. I think he, I'm pretty sure he was... He I think he was he Norwegian. Did, did I, not, I might be crazy, he but... He did not look Norwegian. He was not... He but was. he sounded Norwegian. He did his lines in Norwegian. He did? I'm pretty sure. Because we had to learn what he was saying. We're like, oh... Right. And then remember sometimes he would just, you know, like he only had a few lines. And he filled it. But then he would come in and we be tried like, to have those silent moments with like, that very meaning. We were brothers. We played brothers in it. I would look at you like, what is he doing? How why is he funny still, is that? Why is he still talking to us? Wow. Yeah. I can't believe we forgot about that. It's a great experience. Though. It I mean, was. You know, we should yeah. revive that play. Yeah, I wonder. Yeah. You know, Do a little revival. You should not see this play, by the way. I don't think I want to. see You should it. read it though. Read it, but don't yeah. go see it. It's long. I'll think about it. Yeah. Maybe. Very, very long. But it was one of those plays yeah. where. Uh, <laughs> A lot of it kind of was. Sorry, sorry, back. sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Michael, how are you? I came in. Aha. Uh -huh. I think I went into the wrong entrance. I am so Did sorry. You just say Michael? I'll see you in a little bit. I am so sorry. Okay. Sorry, buddy. Who's that? Uh, it's just a buddy of mine, another one. You're doing bench talk, aren't you? I, I have to do bench talk. I, I was scheduled to do it. Right, well, tell Michael I said hi. Okay. Thanks, Dad. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Nice to meet you. Nice meeting you, too. I'm not reading that play. I'll only read it if you want me to. But I'll read your part, not his. You are loyal, man. You are a true friend. That's right, Steve. Let's get out of here. You know, we actually did videotape the play. Did you? I'll get you a copy, but I think it might be on YouTube. I'll just put a black tape over the screen. Can we put like a smoke screen, you know how they blur somebody's face <laughs> out? Yeah, yeah. That's what we're gonna do to his yeah. part. You got it. All right. Don't wave to me. Just, just ignore me. Take care. We were coffee like 20 minutes ago. Why, I, I don't, oh, all right. Finally. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. It's good. Thank you. Hey, don't mention it. Yeah. Hey, Travis, uh, did you know that I did a play once called uh, The Hunting Lodge? No, I didn't. Yeah. I it. And my character's name was Travis. That's my name. I know. <laughs> That's what I'm telling you. Yeah. Oh, nice. nice. Hey, uh, thanks for getting us and uh, this stuff. And I just want to say you've been doing a great job, so thank you. You got it. Yeah. And I really appreciate it because I know you, know you work long hours, so thank you. Anytime. Yeah. Definitely. Did you ever notice that Travis never says you're welcome? Like, I'll say thank you, and he'll be like, yeah, anytime, or... You know, that is kind of weird, but yeah. I haven't noticed that. No? No. Watch, I'll show you. Hey, Travis! Yeah, anything else? No, I just want to say, man, this is really, really good tea, and uh, so thank you. Yeah, don't mention it. Yeah, well, and you've been doing such a great job, so uh, thank you. It's my pleasure. Oh, no, it's really my pleasure. Yeah, and, um, wow, I just, I really can't thank you enough. Thank you. You're way too kind. Oh, almost. 
uh, if I could ever do anything for you, you just let me know because I so appreciate what you're doing and thank you. Perupa. Oh, I, he's just making shit up now. Right? <laughs> okay.